All right, guys, we're here today at Empire Fitness Center where they bought some of our machines that they had newly installed last week. And we're going to go through some of them and explaining on how to set them up properly and how to use them properly. So we're here with a chest press um, that they had delivered last week. It is a converging chest press and it's in a slight inclined plane. So it hits those upper pec fibers really well along with the major majority part of the chest muscle fibers. So with setting this one up, it's pretty simple. You can just adjust the bottom seat in height and that will de be depending on the mobility in your range of motion in your shoulders and how high or tall you are, obviously. So when you take a seat, you wanna be able to grip the handles while still having good posture. So um, torso up, shoulders back in a nice tall manner. If you can grab them without compromising that posture, you're in a good position to start to pressing movement. If you are not able to, move the seat down as it will uh, create a more optimal position to grab a bit, bit lower. And with those having less mobility or range of motion on their shoulders, that can offer a good solution for them. So when we've got it set up, for me this is perfect. You grab both handles and then you're gonna press in an upward motion. Very important is, as you see, the moment arm, the movement arms traveling slightly outwards and inwards, so they converge and diverge, you wanna do the same thing with your elbow. So the elbow path that you take through the pressing motion needs to be exactly in line matching the movement of the arms. So never have your elbows travel in while the movement arms travel out. So make sure they're in line in that same line of that path, pathway. So imagine that this pressing mo motion is a giant arrow and you want your elbows pressing in that same direction as well. And obviously in the eccentric, the negative range of motion, you wanna do the same thing. So that you're always aligning your joints with 